When most people think of NASA, they think of space. The agency has carried out a variety of tests in the last few decades, easily becoming the most well-known space agency in the world. It's for this reason that many people look up to them, with some even going on to make it their goal to work for their agency in the future. Their years of experience and discoveries have left millions of people speechless. They've taken us one step closer to becoming a spacefaring species, something that many scientists the world over say is our destiny. Interestingly, with all these missions comes thousands of photographs, most of which don't include anything special. But if you spend enough time looking through them, it's said you may spot something mysterious. Amateur researchers have made it their goal to look through these photos to try and find these anomalies. Although this sounds like something that wouldn't get many results, you would be wrong. With many individuals saying that many NASA images contain mysterious objects in the background, it's these photographs that have caused some to question whether we're alone in the universe. One of them was this dark object that could be seen in the corner of an old NASA photograph. This photograph comes from the STS mission, also known as the Space Transportation System. In several of these photographs, these strange looking objects can be seen close to the space shuttles, causing some to question what these things are. There seems to be no consistency with them, with some being disc shamed, while others are triangular and pyramid shamed. One thing that amateur researchers point out though is that they don't look man made, saying that they don't think these objects are space debris. One UFO researcher said the following about these objects. What's become apparent in recent years is that many UFOs have been sighted in space. The live feeds have given us researchers a great opportunity to scan the area above our planet, and if you look at these for long enough you'll likely see something strange. There's been many UFOs that have been seen above our planet, and as many have pointed out before me, to label all of these as space debris is just delusional. They need to be taken more seriously and researched. End quote. There's others who have suggested that these objects might be the infamous Black Knight satellite, a satellite known in UFO circles as allegedly being thousands of years old and being placed above our planet with the sole purpose of watching humanity. Scientists have said that there's no proof of a Black Knight satellite and that these are just made up stories pushed by UFO researchers. They go on to say that what people are seeing is space debris, further saying that the area above our planet is littered with hundreds of satellites and other man-made objects. There's some who say that their trust in NASA has taken a hit in recent years, and this comes after a number of announcements. For example, one of these they point to is the moon footage. One significant mistake made by NASA was losing the original footage of the first moonwalk. NASA officials claim to have searched for these missing tapes since their disappearance. NASA have stated that the tapes were simply misplaced, but many people doubt this due to the vast number of tapes that must have been lost. The question is, how did they lose such valuable tapes? Before the tapes were lost, clips from the footage were broadcast on television. These first steps of man on the moon were an unparalleled achievement in space travel, and therefore it seems unbelievable that these tapes could have been misplaced so easily. Many theories were created regarding the whereabouts of the missing tapes. Some say they were hidden from public for security reasons, others say that they were really lost, and there's also some slightly more complex theories. One of the theories created by a community of people who don't trust the credibility of NASA state that these alleged missing files are hiding something, and so the space agency got rid of any evidence that was on them. However, in recent years these missing tapes were found. It's believed that more than 200,000 tapes of recordings were considered not important by NASA, and were demagnetized to be reused for other occasions, and therefore made their way to an auction. A NASA intern purchased approximately 65 boxes of these tapes in an auction. Not knowing that the tapes had such important footage on them, 
the intern planned to sell the tapes on a television station, where they would have been recycled and used for new recordings. However, the intern then noticed the label on the outside of the boxes, identifying them as the Apollo 11 mission. The intern had heard the story of the lost tapes, and therefore found a way to play the tapes in order to identify them. Once they were confirmed as the missing tapes, approximately two and a half hours of footage was recovered. As of right now, UFO researchers and scientists are at a standoff. One side firmly believes that these objects need to be investigated, while the other side states that there's no proof that these are intelligent objects. UFO believers hit back these claims though and state that in some cases these objects can be seen changing direction, and sometimes they can be seen speeding off at speeds that humans would never be able to match. It seems that all the time strange objects are being detected on live cams, there will always be those that will want further research to be done. One UFO researcher said the following, the reason many UFO researchers believe that these objects are real is because of how NASA acts. When these objects come into view, the live cams are suddenly shut off. I think that if it wasn't for them doing this, people wouldn't be so interested. But because they get shut off almost immediately, it makes us question why they do this. What are they trying to hide that they'll go to the lengths of shutting down the cameras? More investigations need to be made into this phenomena. End quote. So what do you guys make of this photograph? And what do you think it shows? Do you think it belongs to something mysterious? Or is it something natural like space debris? Also, what do you make of NASA losing the original moon landing footage? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.